Midwest farmers are among the most productive in the world, but they don't grow crops on every square foot of soil. Farmers have moved away from the idea of planting crops to the water's edge, for instance. Instead, they've been growing grasses and trees in strips along streams and lakes. The plantings are called riparian forest buffers, and the good these streamside plantings do stretches the length of the buffer and beyond. Consider the benefits. Often a biological oasis in a sea of farm crops, buffers offer food, shelter, and cover for wildlife. Studies have shown up to five times as many bird species inhabit buffers as compared to heavily grazed or cropland without buffers. They're joined by bats, butterflies, and game animals like pheasants, quail, and deer. The streamside vegetation promotes a healthier food web and biodiversity in the stream itself too. Tree leaves, stems, and sticks that fall into the stream become food for stream organisms, and streamside trees give shade to cool the water on hot summer days, something that's vitally important for fish and what they eat from the stream. These are all important reasons farmers and conservationists have put so many buffers in place, with technical and financial assistance from the U.S. Department of Agriculture through programs like the Conservation Reserve Program. But the real driving force has been to filter water from crop fields to deliver cleaner water downstream. The first thing riparian buffers do for water quality is push farming operations and associated fertilizers and chemicals away from the stream. Secondly, the growing grasses and trees on the edge of crop fields slow runoff waters and sediments and attached phosphorus. As much as 80 to 90 percent settle out. The water infiltrates into the ground keeping phosphorus from the stream. A third and major job of a riparian buffer is to remove nitrogen from shallow groundwater before it moves to the stream. Most nitrogen from crop fields is in groundwater in the form of nitrate nitrogen. Riparian forested buffers intercept groundwater as it flows underground towards the stream. Plant roots absorb some of the nitrates to grow and just as importantly, provide an energy source for bacteria in the water-saturated soil that converts nitrogen nitrate to a nitrate gas that escapes harmlessly into the atmosphere. Studies at Iowa State University have shown riparian buffers can remove as much as 90% of the nitrogen from groundwater before it reaches the stream. Studies are also underway to test the ability of riparian buffers to reduce nitrates from underground tile drainage in adjoining fields. Water level control structures are put into tile lines, and perforated lines are installed in the buffer to allow the buffer soils to hold water from the tile at certain times of the year. These saturated buffers roots then clean nitrates from the underground tile water, as well as clean other underground water. The water control structure allows water table levels to be lowered in the buffer to facilitate crop planting and harvesting in non-saturated soils. Better water, biodiversity protection, more habitat, and a beautiful landscape. All good reasons for establishing streamside protection with grass, shrubs, and trees, and making that protection permanent. That's a riparian forested buffer one of a number of environmental tools today's conservation farmers are using to make our world a little bit better and our future a little brighter.